All right, so uh, let's think of a more complicated example of having a double bond and maybe a more interesting example, and this is talking about benzene. I think most of you have talked a little bit about benzene uh, over this past week in recitation. Benzene is a ring that's made up of six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. So let's picture what this looks like here, and we'll start with four and we'll add in our last two. So essentially we have uh, two ethene or ethylene molecules here to start with where this, these blue are our two sp2 hybrid orbitals. So you can see that for each carbon atom, one is already used up binding to another carbon atom. If we think about bringing in those last two carbons, what you can see is that for every carbon, two of its hybrid, or two of its hybrid orbitals are being used to bond to other carbons. So that leaves each carbon with only one hybrid orbital left. And if we think about the six hydrogens, now each of those are going to bind by combining one of the carbon hybrid orbitals to a 1s orbital of hydrogen. So uh, if we think about what bonds are in this molecule, we actually have six of these sigma carbon sp2 carbon sp2 bonds. We also have carbon sp2 hydrogen 1s bonds. How many of those do we have? Yep, we also have six of these because we have six carbon-hydrogen bonds. So that's two of our types of bonds in benzene, and we have one type left, and that's going to actually be the double bond or the, the pi bond that forms between some of these p orbitals. So we can have uh, one bond here between this carbon's p orbital and this carbon's p orbital. So let's have a clicker question here on how many total uh, pi bonds do you expect to see in benzene? And actually, oh good, so it's left up, the notes are left up on this, this screen right now. All right, so let's take 10 seconds on that. All right, great, so most of you saw that what we would expect to see is uh, three bonds. Some of you thought six, so let's t take a look at why three is correct. Uh, so what we end up having is three of these pi, 2PY, 2PY bonds. We can have one between these two carbons here. Can we have one between these two carbons here if we have one here? No, no we can't. We're already using it up in this, uh, this pi bond here. So that means we're limited to only two other spots on the molecule, so we have three. But of course, what you saw in recitation, and hopefully what you can now uh, think very quickly by looking at this, is that this is not the only uh, configuration of pi bonds that we could have in benzene. There's absolutely no reason I couldn't have switched it around and said that instead uh, the pi orbitals form between these atoms instead of those first atoms I showed. So let's look at this in a more uh, simple structure here, where we have the two possible forms of benzene. And the reality is, is that it's going to be some combination of the two. This is resonance. This is a, a case of a resonance structure. So what we see is that those six pi electrons are actually going to be delocalized de around all six of those atoms. So if you think about any one of these carbon-carbon bonds, what type of a bond would you expect that to be? What would the bond order be for this bond? Yep, it's going to be a one and a half bond. It's a one and a half because it's halfway between a double bond and a single bond. So of course, this is resonance, so we can go ahead and put our resonance notation in there to indicate that benzene is a resonance structure.